and welcome to this week's Remote Art Club. So this week we are going to create this feather image. Let's see, woodpecker feather. And we are going to use Biro. So this session you will need a ruler, pencil and rubber, a black Biro and a piece of uh, kitchen towel or paper to rest your hand on and most importantly a cup of tea or cup of coffee so go and grab yourself one and I'll meet you back here soon bye right excellent so hopefully you've had time to draw out your feather now what we're going to do is start to put our biro in so I'm just going to move that to one side of my next we don't need that yet just your kind of standard black biro bit of kitchen towel just to lean on because biro when you work with biro it does have a tendency to gather like pencil gather on the side of your hand and then you can smudge it across your drawing which you don't want to do so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn my feather to one side and I'm going to turn the picture of the feather I've got to one side and I'm going to work on a side at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do, just like I've done with you with drawing out, I'm just going to pen in the quill all the way up the middle of that feather. So a nice black outline. Now up the, the quill, this bit here and then into the shaft of the feather, it is lighter in the middle. So I'm going to try and just leave the middle white for now. And then when I get down to here, I'm not going to completely outline that. I don't want a really heavy set outline all the way around, okay? I'm just going to leave that like that for the moment. Excellent. So I've got my quill and the shaft of the feather in. So now we're going to start here with these really fine, almost fluffy, where you've got like the softer barbs of the feather. And I'm going to press really, really lightly on my, with my biro. Now biro, let me just grab a spare piece of paper and show you. You can use biro as you would a pencil. So you know with a pencil, the heavier you press, so if you apply pressure, the darker the pencil. The lighter the pressure, so hardly any pressure, still less, 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 less pressure, the lighter the pencil. Exactly the same can be achieved with biro, so I'll just give this a little practice. So quite a really quite heavy pressure there with my biro, and then really really light, hardly pressing that biro down at all. So the biro is skimming the surface of the paper. So it might be worth, if you want, to pause the video now and just have a little practice with applying different pressure because you can get a whole range just like you would can go from dark to light with a pencil the same can be achieved when applying different pressure with a biro. So give that a go and then join me back here for drawing, drawing, drawing the feather. Okay, brilliant, right. Excellent, so you've had a go hopefully at 
practicing with the different pressures. So let's get back to our feather. So we've just marked out the middle of your feather in our biro. Okay, so we're going to apply that lighter pressure now. So we're going to start here. We're just going to get those really soft, almost fluffy bits of that feather in. Hardly any pressure at all. to use a heavier pressure to start to get the darker lines in. Now I'm coming right from that line, that the, the line of the shaft of the feather, that's where I'm working from. And I'm not outlining, I'm not going over my outlines in biro because I don't want an outline. I want the outline to occur where the biro, each biro line ends. It will give a much more natural appearance. And those lines are just going to work up to that white spot. All those individual lines. As if you were drawing every individual bar within the stop there a minute because that is my first white spot so then using a really light pressure I do just want to pick one or two little lines up in that white just so it's not solid white and I'm going to do that by just skimming my biro over like that That one actually goes up into here. And into that next spot there. So I'm going to move on to my next part of the feather. Starting from the shaft, that line of the shaft of the feather up here. So I haven't outlined white spot in the feather the outline is happening where I end the bio each biro line so you get a much more natural looking feather So this is where it gets a little bit tricky because there's gaps in the feather. So just try and work that in as best you can. And you can do that by doing the ends and this part of the feather. Thank you. 
that up a bit more. And then again, just going to put some of that black encroaches into there a little bit. And then I'm just going to bring some of those lines, not all of them, just some, into that white there. leave that there for the moment and come back to this side again you might find it easier to come from the white spot in to the middle of the feather that's absolutely fine slightly encroach into that white a little bit. And continue working up don't want that white gap in the middle. Excellent, so that's that side done. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna let give you a chance to catch up and do that side, and then I'll join you back here and we'll do the other side. Brill, so you should have now done this half of your feather and be happy with, hopefully, with what you've got. So we're gonna turn it over. And I'm going to place my bit of kitchen down on there so that I don't, as I said, so you don't drag that colour from there. Okay, so let me just turn my feather image around as well. Excellent, so I'm going to start at this bottom bit, so that lovely light pressure. So my biro is just skimming that page and it's just picking it up ever so slightly. And I probably don't want that bit to be any heavier than that because I want it to look really soft. I'm gonna move up the feather here. So coming from that line in the middle of the feather, little black lines, a little bit heavier now. Can put a few lighter tufty ones in there, lovely, excellent. Right, the end here is dark, so 
pressure, heavy pressure. You're drawing every single line. So all those little lines you can see in that feather, you want to draw every single one with your biro. Tiny little lines up there. Okay, happy with that. Again, one or two very light lines in the white spot. So it doesn't look like a hole, it looks like white colouring on the feather. Okay, excellent. So I'm just going to twist around a little bit. It's kind of how comfortable you, you find it when you change your angle. Okay, so here, I'm going to start from here. So you can work up from the middle or from your edge inwards, it's really, really up to you. It's whatever you find comfortable, whichever gives you the best result. Oh, you'll see me chopping and changing between the two and that's absolutely fine. And that's the thing with art, you find kind of what works for you and techniques will differ from person to person as well. I'm just going to come back to that little white spot there and just break into that a little bit more. A couple of little lighter lines. Lovely, happy with that. I'm going to carry back on up with the feather so little lines up to here. Just make sure I'm not getting a white gap in the actual feathers next to that directly next to that line of the shaft of the feather. Come into that a little bit more. There we go. And then we can speed up a bit if you're feeling a bit more confident because we're getting to this area where it's just solid. Just filling in those lines. Oh, you might feel your wrist aching, so it's worth just... I'm doing a bit of a rotation every so often just to loosen it up a little. Okay, it's better. A bit more comfortable. Okay, so little lines here up to that white spot in that feather and then longer lines here Now I'm going to change the direction of my lines a little. Because up here I want the lines to kind of go at that angle. 
so that you can come up that middle section of that feather and fan it along until it meets the top there. to break up some of that I don't want those white marks there so I'm just gonna work back down the middle of that feather okay so a couple of little lighter lines within the white spots just one or two just a hint black up the top and then as it comes down you just need a little bit of white so really light shade it in really really lightly going along closing up any gaps there might be just to give it a bit of shape, shade it in a little, slight curved line, shade it in a little, excellent, that's the quill piece there, and then just double check, just continue up that feather, closing up any obvious little gaps that you may have. So, you've got your feather, what we're going to do now, can you see on this one of mine, I've got a nice deckled edging. So I've still got the pencil lines that I can see, um, I don't want to rub those out yet because the biro is still going to be wet, so you run the risk of catching a wet bit of biro and it's smudging across. So whilst we wait for that dry, to dry, what we can do is our deckled edging. So place your ruler on your piece of paper. And then you want to get the corner and you press down on the ruler and you just rip that strip of paper off the edge. Just do it a little bit at a time because then you'll get that more uh, pronounced deckled edge. Now you'll see, because this bit's a bit wider, it's a little bit easier with, can you see, a bit easier with a wider piece of paper when you're tearing it off. The thinner the strip you're tearing it off, it just becomes a little bit trickier, a little bit more fiddly. And you just want to do it a little bit of time so you get that lovely ripped edge. Really press that ruler down. So it doesn't slip and you end up ripping off a bit you didn't want to rip off. And that's how you get your lovely deckled edge. Now I'm going to rub my, my pencil lines out now but again you might just want to wait a little bit, wait for it to dry a bit more.
I can do is now just revisit. Just compare your image to if you've got the photo, if you're working from a photo. So I just want to close that up a little bit there. Just going to close that one up there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sometimes you've just got a bit of artistic license, or you've followed your drawing, your drawn line rather than just keep observing what you're, you're copying or you're working from. And then you can just keep working away but I'm gonna leave it at that and there you have it your woodpecker feather in biro so give it a go and always keep sharing with us how you're doing because we love to see what you're getting on with and how you're doing it okay then bye